What's up with that? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. And welcome back to the Landon Strip, man. If this is your first time over here in Orlando, McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to keep you up to date with everything that I got going on. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button and leave a comment, bro. Get them comments up, man. I respond to all my comments. And usually my comment response time is pretty fast. Sometimes it isn't. Just depends on what you say and how busy my life gets. Anyway, it is what it is, man. We in the cockpit, you already know. It's time to show you some shoes. And today we got a shoe that um I didn't even know was dropping. I just got a notification and I, I went ahead and copped it. Wanted to see what all the hype was about. And that shoe is the BAM! The mass collab on the New Balance 5740, the pizza joints, man. We're gonna get into it. I love pizza. I'm sure everybody loves pizza, right? Who don't like pizza? Fast in your lap belts and let's prepare to take flight. All right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Just giving you a shot of that size tag so you can see how they come in, man. This is a size 15, so you already know there's a PP. I believe this shoe retail for $130. Shout out to Foot for hooking your boy up with these, man. I greatly appreciate it. Um, Got your New Balance Boss Traditional with your little uh, holes in it in the back and all that so you can carry it. That, that traditional gray box, you've seen one, seen them all. Um, New Balance branded paper. Um, you've also got, what it is, some little New Balance sticker in there. And an inspection sticker. Just in case any of my newcomers come around and wonder why why is this man spending time showing the box? I showed a box. So if you're trying to cop in resale markets or whatever, you know how retail pairs should look, how your box should look. A lot of fakes nowadays, if you don't have a retail pair to compare it to, you might not be able to tell if your shoe is real or fake or not. But boxes, boxes don't lie. There is no such thing as a UA sneaker with a perfect box. It don't exist. So, boxes play a pivotal point <laughs> in successes. You dig? But I'm done talking about this box. Bam! Let's get into the shoe. If you like these, man, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel about them, man. If you're rocking with them. If not, man, this shoe looks humongous, man. I know it's a size 15. Y'all let me fly. All your shoes big. Yeah, but they look normal size to me. But this joint looks like a damn yacht. <laughs> like a yacht or something, man. Good, good God. But um, the uh, customizer mash, man, teamed up with New Balances. Ironically, a lot of his shoes look like New Balances, so that was <laughs> that was kind of a no-brainer. I actually found out about him um last year and uh, started following the page. I found out about Saya the year before. Found out about Cool Kai last year. I found out about Rock Deep last year. So a lot of this independent stuff. I didn't really know about, but this was his first collaboration with um, actual New Balance. It was inspired by uh, New York pizza or whatnot, as you can, it's got the little drop of the pizza sauce up here and whatnot, just pizza is one of my favorite foods. And I was looking to buy a mass shoe anyway, and uh, this one kind of fell in my lap from Foot Locker. So I was like, hey, why not? I, I haven't caught any of his regular drops, so I might as well just go ahead <laughs> and bank on these since Foot Locker's telling me about it. And uh, that's that's exactly, that's exactly what I did. Um, they came with these white laces. They have red and uh, green tips for the uh, with the mash branding on it. But I took those out, man. I figured that these green laces will hit a whole lot better. I think these came out of my pine green Jordan ones, either 1.0 or 2.0, whichever one. It came out of those. So I put that green lace in there to accent them green hits, man. And it's it's. It's butter. So we'll start with the sole, man. Boom! You got that all blacked out sole, as you can see, nice. Coming up into that uh, cell mid sole, then you have your little brown hits across the top. The brown portions were to resemble the crust. The red, of course, was the sauce. Green and the white, mm, excuse me, man, that was nasty. <laughs> the green and the white was the toppings of the shoe and all that good stuff. As you can see, both both pairs have that little stain for the pizza sauce on it. Um, the quality on this on this suede is ridiculous, man. You got your leather in on your New Balance logo. Under that, that tan, it's like a new book or something. Up under there, this little piece the same. 
actually that might be just regular leather now that I'm filling it up here is that the same feels like leather what is that velvet feels like leather so we just gonna say it's leather man um, you've got an all red tongue with this checkerboard pattern and a new balance up there you can see that new balance logo checkerboard it's also checkered on the back of the tongue um, insole also has like a piece of pizza sliding off a plate it's like dragon down pepperoni pizza you can see that you've got some mesh up here on your toe box also up here around your upper ankle, upper ankle area you can see that you got your green hits around the back heel green on the side that's why I went with the green laces because I felt like they could have accented the green a little more you know pieces Italian you know you get your red your green and <laughs> you get your red your green and your whites I forgot that um, Italian was a running joke in section 8 <laughs> for a while but yeah it's still funny um either way man you got your dark brown up here and this is a thick thick haired suede man I mean it is thick then wrap it around to your heel. That same thick suede on that too, man. Decent craftsmanship on this shoe. New Balance has always been good about that. New Balance has always been good about using premium materials on their shoes, especially their collab shoes, man. So that, that was that was good for me. I was cool with it and having it. Um, sizing on these, I want a full size up. And if they had a half size, I probably would have been good with like a 14 and a half, but they didn't have half. So I got the 15. It's a little roomy, but I'd rather have it roomy than tight. So I, I personally wouldn't recommend going true to size on these, but the other people that I've talked to that have them said they went true to size and they're fine. Like I said, man, my feet kind of funny. So I got to do what's best for me. And that's exactly what I did. Size 15 worked out great, but you know what type of foot you got. So. Um, dad shoe. I've really been on this dad shoe vibe lately. I, I don't know why. It's just been like taking me over for some reason. But I guess because I'm old, bro. That, that, might, <laughs> that might be what it is. But anyway, the shoe's pretty comfortable, man. I give it a B. I can't lie. I was actually expecting more. Maybe even a B minus. I was expecting more from the comfort from this shoe with it actually being a New Balance. But um, yeah, I, I'll just give it like a B minus. It's not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but. It, I mean, it's cool. I'm, I'm good with it. It's a comfortable shoe. I've definitely put on shoes that are less comfortable, but I've also put on shoes that are way more comfortable than these are. But it was the first try. I've never had a 5740 before. I've never had a MASH product before, and so I just got to kill two birds with one stone. Now, John, I actually haven't had a pair of New Balances since high school, so it is what it is, man. On foot coming up next. Appreciate you guys watching, tuning in, rocking out with your boy. Let me know if you like these, if you cop these, if you rock with pizza, or any of that, man. Just comment down below. Like the video. All that good stuff. I'll holla at y'all.